Facebook, YouTube, what's up guys? Today is May the 6th, me and Scobie, we're out here in the Mary Marietta, Kennesaw, Georgia area. Show you guys what we're doing, there goes Scobie. This is 2,328 square feet of hardwood floors. Guys, I came out here about three days ago. I was supposed to go out of town, but because of the rain in Philadelphia, I didn't want to risk getting delayed coming back. So I decided not to go out of town. So I came out here and gave these clients an estimate. They had someone come out here, guys. They sanded the floors. They kind of ruined the floors. There's a lot of um, uh, what we call, what are those I call again? The um, Oh, man, I mean, they're just all over. Chatter marks. If you look really close, you see those, Scobie, see those marks? Yeah. Those are called chatter marks. That's basically when someone, when they sand the floor, they, they, they don't pick up the drum sander in time and it digs into the wood. Well, unfortunately with chatter marks, uh, even if these floors were to get, to, was, were to get re -sanded, um, there's not a guarantee that they, could, uh, they will come out. Here's one right here. See that chatter mark right there, that big long one. So the client did some research. The guy also used oil base polyurethane and he did a bad job applying it and the client does not like that oily look on the floor so i came out here gave them a price to remove all this um oil based poly the stairs this is their first home their new home buyers and they really want their home to be a home when they move in so the floors are the last thing to get done so me and Scoby, we're gonna screen and recoat these floors and get these floors looking back good so these um, new homeowners can move into their home. So this is what we're doing today. And like I said, it's a lot of wood, a lot of hardwood floors, upstairs, downstairs. And, oh man, when I tell you guys, May, is slammed i think she said there was a wood in here let me see yeah right there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get one of the machines upstairs let's go be do the downstairs and then we also got a flight of stairs going to the basement i'm gonna go with a satin finish and make these floors look so much better all right guys stay tuned All right, guys, give you some progress. Woo, man. I don't know what type of oil-based polyurethane this guy put on here, but it is, um, I'm not gonna say it's a challenge. It's just taking longer and more material uh, to get it off. But we are getting it off, as you can see. All right, so we're making good progress. As long as you see that powdery, that powdery form, uh, like, like you see in all the videos, just see, see that? All right, so that's a, that's a good thing right there, guys. It's not flaking off, it's not peeling off, it's doing just what it's supposed to do. Right, let's go down here and check on SCOBY. So all of this has been done. I got the palm sander for the stairs. We got two flights of stairs to do. All right. So, all right, so you see SCOBY's making good progress. Oh yeah. All right guys, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Let's go be finished doing this. Oh yeah. And again, remember oil base guys, Look at the oil bait, it has that yellow look to it. So eventually over time, it starts to amber. All right guys, stay tuned.
All right, guys, I'm laying the first coat of poly. I'm telling you right now, these floors are gonna be night and day difference. Night and day difference, guys. So um, I've already put the poly in this room. We're going with a satin finish. These floors are gonna look totally different. The client's gonna be so happy. So uh, Scobie's working downstairs. I'm going to get the first coat put upstairs. All right, guys, stay tuned. Scobie is laying the coat downstairs. First coat going downstairs. Look at these floors, man. I just got through doing the stairs and going upstairs. And Scobie has already did the stairs going down. All right. Guys, I tell you, man, these floors, night and day difference. Night and day difference from oil base to water base. Floors look more natural. You really can't even see a lot of those uh, chatter marks anymore as well. So, um, all right, guys, we're going to finish laying this first coat. Then we're going to go off and have some lunch. Then come back. Second coat, another happy client. All right, guys, stay tuned. Oh, I got a side there. Oh, you got, oh, you got a side door? Mm-hmm. Good it up. <laughs> hey, all right, guys, we are back. Me and Scobie are just thrilled and how good these floors. Guys, look at these floors. You remember when we first came in? And I will say a lot of times in the videos, videos really doesn't do a whole lot of justice of what the human eye sees in person but guys these floors look amazing this is what the client was looking for all right this is what they was looking for the floors look natural a lot of those imperfections you can't even see and also a lot of those um chatter marks you can't even really see them these floors came out really 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 good and this is just the first coat so we're going to hand and put down the second coat this is the kitchen you can see I'm walking on it. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to stay uh, for as the second coat dries. I want to stay around. Let Scobie go on in. end. We got two screen and recoats tomorrow. Um, but I really want to see how these floors really look with the second coat. Usually we leave. We'll take off after we drop the uh, second coat. But I'm just going to stay around. Um, so, yeah, man, overall, man, these floors look amazing. This is what the client was looking for. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stair. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Two closets right there. I like these closets. Look at these closets. They're like mirrors. And then that one. All right, all right, guys. We're going to get that second coat laid down, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final results. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. 
All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm in the Masters. Got, got the second cup going down. All right, guys, second coat going down. Uh, what we did, Scobie is doing the downstairs. He's gonna work himself around. I'm gonna go do the uh, uh, stairs going back down. Even the stairs look amazing. Water base is the way to go. So Scobie's going to start this way. And then he's gonna work himself through the kitchen here. And then he's gonna go around here. And then by the time he get to the foyer, I'll be coming down the stairs and we'll hit the foyer and then I'll wait for it to dry and I'll come back and do the final walkthrough. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, got the second coat on the stairs. Scobie has also put the second coat on the uh, stairs going to the basement. And uh, almost there. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Second coat is applied. As you can see, I'm walking on the floor. And these floors look 100%, 100% better. Even a lot of the chatter marks, you really can't see them that much now that we got this satin finish on here. But, guys, this is, a, this is just a big, big improvement. And, I, and, it, and the thing about it is... The client was actually told they was going to have to resand the floors, guys. They would have been looking at $12,000, $15,000, okay? And we came in here and did it at about half the price of $12,000. And they, they're ready to move in. They did not want to go through the process of sanding again. And also, the guy who did it last time, they're going to try to recuperate their uh, money from him. Because uh, I think she said they ch he charged them about twelve, and they've already given him like eight. So they're gonna try to get that eight thousand back. So hopefully they will, because that was just a poor, poor, poor job that was done. Uh, just just like someone who was um, not experienced, and especially using that oil based poly, it just really made those floors look horrible. But as you can see now, these floors look immaculate, ready to move in. Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this, guys, beautiful. A lot of people always ask me too, Courtney, what are you filming with, guys? I just use my phone. Um, I have a Note 20, but I think I'm gonna upgrade to that new uh, Samsung 22 or something. Um, but back to the floors, man. Floors look amazing, amazing. All right, guys, that is going to do it. I'm going to go home, get some rest, chill out for a minute because we got two tomorrow, two screen. We actually got two screen recodes all the way up to next Friday. Then next Friday, we're going to be taking off the weekend. I'm going to be going to my happy place, which is called Panama City Beach for the weekend. Monday, I'm sorry, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and we'll be back at it Tuesday. And right now, I'm booking estimates, a few more estimates for this month of May. But we're not booking any more appointments, uh, hardwood floor jobs until June because we're that slant. We're already booked out for May already with hardwood floor work. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Courtney, Scobie, Truman Steen team. See you in the next one.